What up guys, today we are going to Honda out here in Pittsburgh to go get my gasket, valve cover gasket for the D16 Y8, as you can see right here. In the previous video, we did take out the valve cover, so we have no more gasket around there. I'm gonna go pick that up, as well as some Honda Bond today, and then we're gonna clean up more of the engine bay, uh, just so that we can get it ready. So, instead of taking the SI like I wanted to, we're gonna be taking the Ford, just because I'd rather be safe than sorry. Nice. I'm sorry I've neglected you, but you're not needed right now. Alright y'all, got the package right here. I got the Honda Bond, which is what you're supposed to use in terms of like a gasket sealant around the valve cover. And I got the valve cover gasket. Cost me 30 bucks, but you honestly can't beat Honda quality. So let's get on home and let's get to working on the car. First things first, before we start, I have to get some measurements real quick in the SI. I'm gonna be changing something in the EK and I need to see the SI and to see if I fit. That gives you a hint. All right guys, so now I have a little razor that I'll use right here and we will be scraping off all the gunk that I had on the uh, valve cover previously. We're gonna fix it and we're gonna make so it doesn't leak. I'll clean this up and I'll show you guys after. All right guys, now that I have this whole area where the valve cover meets with the head all cleaned up, clean up all of it right there. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna clean this um, valve cover because it is very dirty as you can see right here. There's a bunch of oil that was on there. We're also gonna take out this K&N filter and clean this up too because it's been here for quite some time now and I don't know when the last time it was cleaned so we're gonna clean that as well. Yeah, look how dirty this is. I don't know when the last time this was clean, so we're gonna wash it out and clean it up. All right, y'all, so I got the valve cover as clean as I can get it right there. We have the K&N filter. Yeah, it might have been a better idea if I just put the valve cover gasket around it and then cleaned it with it on outside with everything. But you know me, I always try to do things the harder way. But I'm going to see how this goes because I know you guys want content. And when I push out content, you guys don't watch it. But oh well, I'll just keep pushing it out. See whoever watches it, watches it. If you don't, you don't. And you miss out on the cool stuff we got going for the EK right now. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna go clean this side of the garage and then I'll catch you guys in a bit. Packages. <laughs> well guys, two more packages coming in. So you're not gonna see what these are yet. So stay tuned. <laughs> Alright guys, it's going to be it for today. We got a lot of stuff done on this side of the garage where we're going to be putting the EK. We are going to make this a two-part video because I don't want to be I don't want it to be too short. So I'll see you guys in the morning. What's up guys? It's the next day. Uh, right now we're going to go to AutoZone to pick up the paint for the valve cover. Uh, we are going to be doing wrinkle paint, black wrinkle paint VHT to be exact. So let's go right now. Uh, today we'll be taking my dad's car, the regular Civic. Got the package, let's go home. All right guys, we are back in the garage. Let me tell you something real quick, man. If you work at AutoZone and a guy is buying some VHT wrinkle black paint, 
Don't question why the man's is buying the wrinkle black paint for his engine cover. Obviously, I'm using it for a valve cover. And the guy at the counter was like, man, you don't need to buy that. No one's gonna see them, man. Like, you, you don't need to buy this, man. And I was like, bruh, I need to buy this, bro. Do you not see this rice rocket that I'm building? I have a D16Y8, brother. So yeah, uh, that was just a little tangent of a worker there that I like talked to and he was literally trying to not let me buy the damn paint. And I was like, bro, just let me buy the paint and let me get on my way. Cause like, I don't care that you don't want me to like paint my valve cover. Like, all right guys, to get back on track, the valve cover and the air filter are now dry and I left it out here. Probably shouldn't have because if it rained, it would have gotten messed up, but this works fine now. So let us put this on. I'm probably gonna clean this as well. It looks really ugly. Probably polish it just to make it look a little bit nice. What's going on guys? Uh, we're actually in my car right now in the SI. We're going to Livermore, which is uh, in Livermore. <laughs> uh, we're going to a place called Umigo. Uh, it's basically K1, but in Livermore, so it's go-karting. I will be taking you guys with me on a GoPro because I'll be putting it on my chest while we do the racing. And then when we come back, we'll continue the valve cover gasket so that uh, we have no more leaks and hopefully I can bring my car out and we can finally degrease it. Uh, if not, I'll just do the valve cover gasket and then we'll call it as is. And then in the next video, you'll see me uh, cleaning the engine bay so that we can see where the leak is. So. Come along on this journey with me. We got Bay holding the camera. Let's see what's up. Let's see what's up. What up? And yeah, let's get today started. All right, guys, we're gonna do a pull for you guys. You know, V Tech all day, baby. First gear, baby. All right, guys, we are now here, so I'll catch you guys on the GoPro. All right, guys, so we just got our our little head, <laughs> I head have beanies. Five dollars. <laughs> I have three dollars. Oh, what's up, guys? I'm Patrick. I have three dollars. This is the track. Looks pretty cool. So we'll keep you guys updated. I think my dollar. <laughs> outside bro we can take this outside <laughs> wait bro i gotta get cinematics bro hold on <laughs> wait 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 <laughs> wait 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 bro. yeah yeah <laughs> <laughs> this is the christian <laughs> <laughs> what was that it's okay. It's okay. It's a warm up. It's a, it's a warm up. This is for Eid Igner. What the fuck is that? No! Ooh, that was straight ass. God damn! Oh, Gabe with the cholo fit. Ooh. Let's go, baby. Let's go, Gabe. Hit that shit. Ooh. What do you guys bet? There's no
Hope you guys enjoyed that. Oh my god. Oh. Dang it, Speed Racer Dad got me. Oh, he got me by 0.5, it's 0.62. Ugh. My wrist hurts. Right? I was hella far. I was like this. Ooh, all right. Hope you guys enjoyed that. Your boy got second place. What'd you get, babe? I got fourth. She got fourth. Nikki got fourth. Gabe was next to me, but then a dad beat me, man. And I was like, ugh. But first time was a blast. Dude, that was a hella fast. People say that Umigo is a lot faster because it's gas instead of electric like K1. So you're definitely going to see me here more often with Nikki and everybody else. So see you guys at the garage. Oh. What I did was I just applied the um, valve cover gasket and now we're gonna put Honda Bond all four corners right here, right here, right here, and right here. Then we'll patch it up and we're good to go. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna spread it out evenly, as thinly as possible, wait one minute and then I should be able to put on the valve cover again. Alright guys, everything is back on. Don't mind the <laughs> failed wrinkle paint that I did. It came out really good in the beginning, then I waited a little bit and I resprayed it some more and now it's not wrinkling up. I'm gonna redo that, don't worry about it. I know it looks hella ugly right now, but yeah, that's what it is right now. So thank you guys for watching this video. I know this video is like all over the place, I'm doing like a bunch of stuff. But it is just so that I can do more preventative maintenance on this car. Okay, so in the next video, I'm going to clean up this whole entire engine bay. Just so it looks cleaner. Uh, it looks really ugly right now. And I want to just be able to figure out where my leak is coming from. And as you can see right here. From sitting here. It, uh, I don't know if you can see that. But it has been leaking some oil. Yeah, you can kind of see it right there. It's been leaking some oil from the oil pan, so I'm gonna have to check that out as well just to see if my oil pan's cracked or not. So yeah, make sure you guys build humbly, and until next time, I'll catch you guys later. Peace.